Right, let's do some reversing then, shall we? I don't know what that was. My goodness, what a fall I'm doing there. Can't see you. But thank you, that's better. Okay. Do I need to lock the tap door? No, it locks itself when we when we move away. Well then people. Are you sorted? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right, off we go into the wild blue yonder. I'm not gonna hit anything with the swing. All good. Excellent. So what we're doing, folks is we're off down to Kimberley Caravans in Darlington uh, to pick the awning up and stuff is what we're going to do so that'll all be fun it'll not fit in the car no not with the dog no right then we'll uh, see you when we get a bit closer because this bit's going to be boring because it always is isn't it it is right then in a while crocodile See you later, I'll leave you later, Tra. So, to get to Kimberley, Darlington, you need, if you're coming on the A1M... Now you... exit left, and then take the fourth exit at the roundabout. So it's junction 58, if you're coming in either direction. If you're coming south, you need to... Take the fourth exit at the roundabout on two-way 68. As she's just said, the fourth exit, if you come in the north, it's the first exit. What do you washing machine? Now exit the roundabout on two-way 68. Heading towards Bishop Auckland. No idea. Not the best place. You can pick it up just yet, but Kimberley is on the right hand side here. But you need to go foot, you need to go past Kimberley, round the next roundabout, and come back. It's quite busy. Very busy. Got to park down the bottom end, anyway. So. Yes. Take the third exit at the roundabout and continue to follow A68. Is we'll get up with Dot's coffee. Now exit the roundabout. <laughs> 
by an exit at the roundabout. In 400 yards, you will have reached your destination. Quite a large building, much bigger than the one at Kimberley. Down. Yeah, I know, I just can't quite see how to, how to get let the lights go. Get the swings not easy. Please proceed to the highlighted route, then you will have reached your destination. Out. Unless you go right back to the, the fence, that's what I was meaning. How do you mean? Reverse back. No, I don't. I don't want to do that, love. Particularly, it's, it's, we're as well here, I think. Um, that's the problem. There's no actual part and for motor ones. No. Anyway. Can, can he get out? He can get he out. Can get yes, out. as long as there's okay. room to the right of us, he can get out. So here we are, we've parked down there, taking up far too much space, but here we are, wandering off to sort stuff out. Yep. So it ought to be alright, yep. it'll be fine. I'm sure. Well this is all changed. It is a while, yes. Please pay here, it says. Uh, future DF here. Just to say that uh, the folks in Kimberley, well, the bloke we were dealing with at any rate, made it perfectly plain he did not wish to be filmed. So at this point in time, I wandered down to pick the van up and drive it up to the doors because he said, there's no point, what is it? If you can't get Muhammad to the mountain, bring the mountain to Muhammad. So we brought the mountain to Muhammad and then loaded it in. And we didn't video any of that because as I say, he didn't want to be on any video, so there you go, now you know. Right, we shall drive slowly up and then we can pick the stuff up. Well that's it, it's in. Took some down. But we've got it in. Now we move. Right, well we're on our way home now. Um, we 
didn't do well, we did very little filming at Kimberley because they were all very busy uh, reorganising things and getting the place ready for their open weekend. Yes. Which I forgot the date, I'm sure you'll put it on the I think it's the nineteenth, right? End of the nineteenth, nineteenth of the twenty fourth I think it is. Yeah. So we'll come back down then and uh, do some more filming. So we've happily got everything that we ordered via Kimberley Nottingham. It was delivered to Kimberley Darlington, because obviously that's closer to us. About it. Yes, that's, that's, that's it for the time being, it does me, however. But uh, I'm going to have to reorganise stuff in the garage, in the boot, in the back, so that everything will fit in. You yeah. forget how big these things are. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That'll give you something to do, keep you occupied for a while. It was out of trouble, I suppose. That's right, yeah. Okay, so we'll leave it there for now. Um, we'll see you later. If you're ever interested in visiting Durham, um, on the A690 is a park and ride. You come off here and turn right as if you're going to Sunderland and the park and ride is then after the roundabout it's first left and you can actually stay overnight there I don't think there are any facilities but you can park up there and use the park and ride to get you into Durham um, and then the park and ride back and then you can stay overnight so it's by the, main, the, by the dual carriageway, just over the back of these trees here. Probably be able to see it, we've got a red light, so we'll have to stop. I don't know whether you can see just through the trees or not. But the motorhome place is at the far end from here, so it's furthest away from the A1M. Which, he, which means it'll be a bit quieter. We've not actually stayed ourselves, but I am led to believe that it is a very good place to stop over. So you would come up to the lights, and there it says park and ride. You go Probably down the left, -hand lane. the left hand lane, down there, down to the bottom. Thank you, Kira and then you would turn right and that area across there doesn't have you can't see any oh i think there's probably one van in at the moment it is midweek weekends obviously busier um but it's quite a good place to stop so i'll just mention that while we were passing yes it's worth a look yeah uh, it's one of the places where if we feel like having a Sneaky night away, we might come and have a look ourselves. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Can't remember what the costs are, but there's plenty of sign posting for yeah. caravans and uh, motorhomes. Yeah. There is a motorhome. Yeah. Just behind these trees here. 